Welcome to the most crowded places in the capital of Morocco, Rabat. So let's see what happened. There is cars everywhere. Besides, garbage is thrown away all over the streets. In addition, people use more air conditioners, and especially there is less and less green spaces. These factors are human-made pollution that causes ozone layer depletion. Another person talking about ozone layer. Seriously? It's an outdated topic. Maybe it's an outdated topic, but do you actually know what ozone means and what's happening to the Earth now? Actually, Earth's atmosphere is composed of six layers. The ozone layer is contained in the second one, the stratosphere. It's a belt of naturally occurring gas called ozone. It sits 15 to 30 km above Earth and stands for a protection from the harmful ultraviolet rays emitted by the sun. Pollution has exposed life to dangerous radiation by causing the ozone layer to thin. But how? Ozone is a highly reactive molecule composed of three atoms of oxygen. Although there is only three molecules for every 10 million molecules in the air, it does an extremely important job by absorbing about 98% of UV rays. Unfortunately, it couldn't do its job completely because of chemicals and CFCs that contribute in ozone layer breakdown, found mostly in refrigerants, air conditioner, aerosols and plastic products, CFC is a molecule that contains chlorine, fluorine and carbon. When CFCs are exposed to UV radiation in the atmosphere, they break down into substance, including chlorine. The chlorine interacts with the atom of oxygen in the ozone molecule and destroys it. So you can understand more, here is a demonstration of ozone layer depletion. Why should I be concerned? The victims of ozone layer depletions are all living creatures on Earth, which means all of us. The harmful UV rays increase the rates of skin cancer, sunburns, premature aging of the skin, and also cataracts. It affects plant growth and animal reproduction as well, which ultimately affects food chains and will certainly lead us to starvation. It could also result in natural calamities such as tornadoes, hurricanes, fires, and tsunamis. Okay, but how can we end this? My opinion, each one of us needs to watch out his behavior towards Earth. We can just do little things for the place we are living in. For instance, stop throwing garbage away, planting trees, reduce the usage of vehicles, and looking for zero pollution and renewable energies.